Hey guys, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio with a little bit of a mishap. I filmed, uh, today is Tuesday, I filmed on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today I had to be here to redo this because in, I lost some footage that was the intro to the video you're about to see, so I will give you the um, story. <laughs> about how it started. I was one, watching one of Carrie Dolman's videos about making something and towards the end she was talking about she was trying to challenge herself uh, to make something out of all the scraps that she had on her desk and I had a bunch of stuff on my desk and I thought well no time like the present let me give it a try. So I did and this video shows what I did and then um, I came back at the end and talked about um, what I made. And I have some others here, but I will add that, tack that on to the end of this video, and then you'll get to see two endings. I know it's really weird. I'm sorry. I just lost the footage some way or another. Maybe I thought I was recording and I didn't, <laughs> which is probably what happened. Okay, head on out, see the video, it's not that long.
Okay, so there was too many things going on in my house to actually keep filming while I made these, but I wanted to show you the end product. Here's a little tiny one made out of paper that was gifted to me, and I stamped it with this block right here. When I was talking about blocks I've had a long time, I think I meant this one, not the other one, because the other one was gifted to me, the one that had the food in alphabetical order. This one's my, uh, started out being mine. Um, and then I always have some, uh, this was gifted to me also, and I have this one, and then I have a wider one, and I keep these close because a lot of these papers that we use for scraps are pretty skinny, which will fit over this perfectly. So this one stays out too. And like I said, the person knows who they are. Okay, um, so in this one, all I did was take deli paper, did the three hole pamphlet stitch, kind of eyeballed it, look at my fingers, oh my word. Um, and then I took a ticket because this is flimsy paper, I decided to take a ticket, just glue it as it was stamped on the back. And this, when it closes, will be the tab to pull it out. And then I went ahead and just took another piece of cardstock and glued it onto the top of the ticket, just right here, so that it wasn't too flimsy when you go to pull it out. And then I'd already cut up a ticket for something else, so I thought, well, let me cut some of this off this little teeny ticket and use these for tabs. So I just cut the number off the little ticket and cut up another part of the ticket. It didn't have to be pretty. It just needed to be glued on the end of a page, which is exactly what happened to it. And there's another part. It was a scrap. So I glued it onto the end of the pages to use as um, tabs, and if you see... There's the little tabs. There's one, two, three little tabs, and then there's this to pull it out. Nothing on the back except for that lovely painting. Should have put this on front. All right, so then the next one is the one that I did from the cardstock, and I covered it with a sheet of uh, my jelly print I've had for a while, stamped with a stamp I carved, three-hole pamphlet stitch. I made sure I covered the inside. Not that it really needed to be, but I did. This is all just coffee dyed paper miscellaneous shapes. Three hole pamphlet stitch and then I glued on some ephemera that I have just to make the cover more interesting. I doubt seriously I will do anything else to this but it's not going to lay flat. See that's the thing is the way that uh, Corey cut the spine off stuff and then let's see, let me get to the middle here. She would cut the papers and glue and uh, sew one side of the papers onto the cover so the other side of the papers to the cover that's like split in half so it's two different sections and then bring them together and put the washi tape on it and it lays and leaves a very fat I mean a very skinny profile so that'll fit in your junk journal without going eh, like this one's going to unless I slip it in a pocket which is exactly where it's going all right, so there's that one. Then I took the leftover print that I had, jelly, jelly print that I made, another just cardstock, manila cardstock, strips that were left over from trimming paper off to the right lengths. I had a whole bunch of strips and I've been using them up. Made a little notepad out of it, took a sticker that was gifted to me from a sticker set, which I really like and just sewed the cap over it. You saw I was fiddling around cutting it. Um, I, when I sewed it, I sewed it up too, too high and the paper scooted down. So when I went to pull it up, I had tab in one hand, paper in the other. Like, oh, this is why I don't make clothes. So then I had to try to, this is close. I mean, this is like sewed shut. <laughs> so I had to glue the last little part that I could open up and slap it on there. And then I sewed over that so it doesn't open. Usually, you know, it'll open up more. <laughs> That's not going to happen here. So I messed up. Who cares? It's junk. All right, so those are the three that I made today. Whoops. To show you that um, just junk that was on my desk, leftovers that were on my desk, is what I used other than the little ephemera pieces in here. But the paper... And the, all that stuff was leftovers from another creation. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I will leave Corey's link because you have got to see her videos. 
They're fabulous. Just fabulous. All right. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Okay, since you've watched the video and you saw the ending, let me just do a second ending like I said I would do in the beginning. So in the ending, you saw this one. You saw this one. And you saw this one. And then I did two others that you did not see in the video that are tiny little books. Um, this one is from the same paper as this, this one right here. I was gifted the paper and I have used it on four or five projects and now it's all gone. <laughs> I really liked it. I have a feeling it was cleanup paper of some sort. I don't know, but I really liked it. All right, so this is copy dyed paper in this little tiny thing. It is, I could tell you how big it is if I could actually find a ruler. I mean, there's only like 10,000 of them here. But there's never one around when you need it. It is one and a quarter tall and about one inch across, a little, a smidge smaller than one inch across. So that's pretty small. This one is also is made from um, cardstock that was in a six by six form. I cut off part of it to use somewhere else. And then I had this little chunk left over. I thought, well, why waste it? So I folded it in half. And then again, I had little strips off cuts of um, coffee dyed paper and I used the three hole pamphlet stitch just like these others and then I put the little tab thing at the top so that when it's in a pocket all you have to do is pull the tab instead of trying to struggle to get this out of the pocket. I put a sticker of here of watercolor that I did and another sticker of lavender that I did I don't know month a couple months ago and I did run it through the Zyron and make a sticker out of it. So there are the five little tiny booklets that I made from just scraps that were on my table. I think I did this on is yesterday, either Sunday or yesterday. Sunday or Monday I did these. I just thought they were cute. You know, there's something little added bonus to add to your um, junk journals or maybe instead of making somebody a card, you could send them a little book like the booklet like this and just write in there how much you appreciate them and then they get to use the book. Okay, well that's it until next week. I'll see you guys later. Bye.